next step is in choosing your domain. So if you don't already have a domain in mind, what you're going to do is you're going to pick a domain. So you're going to go to www.upstartsolutions with an S dot net. When you get to that page, you're going to click on support. And then down in the left hand corner, find a domain name. And that'll bring you to this page here. Now, in entering a domain name, there's a couple things to keep in mind. One is, is that you don't want to pick a domain name that's not in harmony with what your website's going to be about. The other thing is you don't want there to be two consonants or two vowels together. So um, an example of that would be I want to fly com. So if I just started typing that out, you'll notice that it's want and then the word two, those are two consonants, so people are constantly going to be asking you, is it want without the T or is it two without the T? You kind of get the picture. And then what I would always encourage people to do is, is claim your own name. So, you know, obviously if your name's John Smith, that might be a little bit difficult to get or Bob Smith, but um, you want to check to see if your name is available. So once you find a domain that you're happy with, we're going to have you purchase the .com. Now what I want to do is just provide you with um, a way to kind of get started. So basically you'll just need this URL uh, to be purchased. It is available. So I'm just going to go ahead and purchase this for one year. And you'll notice that there's a there's a lot of abilities to upgrade. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of proceed to to check out. I'm going to hit no thanks, ready to go to check out. Okay, so ten dollars and nineteen cents. I already have an account set up. Okay. So once, once you have that, um, you're going to go to the domain manager. And, and so here's my domain that I just purchased. And there's a couple of things that you'll notice when you click on here. It's going to give uh, the name of the server, which is ns61domaincontroller.com. Um, domain is not forwarded. This is some technical information that will actually come into play here in a little bit. You notice it's um, to go and adjust the hosting. Now there's two ways to do this hosting. I'll show you the free way first and then if you want to upgrade to hosting I'll, I'll show you how to do that. You click on use credit. And on the right side, it's going to ask which domain. And it's going to be my itmarketingautopilot.com. And I can do free Windows or free Linux. I go with the Linux hosting, quite frankly. And it's um, you'll notice here when I just clicked on web hosting, I come down to new account. And I need to set up the account. And there's a license agreement. Click the box that you've read, even if you haven't. Okay, now this is important. You're going to need to write down this information. Make sure that you have it written down because if you lose it, it can cost you a lot of time. So I'm just going to call it IT Marketing WP for WordPress. I'm going to go with PHP 5X.